many people around the world are having different either religious holidays or a New Year celebration. How can we proceed with marking those important moments or gathering moments, but still protecting ourselves and our loved ones? It's so important to mark these holidays and birthdays and gatherings and celebrations. And no matter what, I am sure that people will continue to find ways to celebrate. I think that's important. It's been a very difficult couple of years. Um, and no matter, you know, find ways to continue to be social. I think in terms of the gatherings themselves, right now there is no zero risk. There hasn't been zero risk since this virus emerged. But there are ways in which you can reduce the risk. Um, you know, you could limit the size of the gatherings. You could make sure that you are vaccinated. You can take a test. You know, there are all these rapid tests that exist um, that are highly reliable now. And you can look at what is your exact um, status right now. Um, you can make sure that you do things more outdoors if possible, depending on where you live than indoors. And if you are indoors, you're wearing a mask, you're opening the windows. I still believe that there's ways that people can celebrate. Um, we just need to ask the questions of how can we do it as safely as possible. We of course wish everyone you know, the, the safest holidays that they can have, um, but please just be careful. Uh, please be smart. What properties of Omicron make it more infectious than Delta? Why is it more transmissible, as we keep saying? There are lots of things that can happen in terms of make, to make a virus more successful at transmitting, and that's what higher transmission is. In the main, in this case, it's usually because of a change in the spike protein, the protein that attaches to the human cell. So they, they, they attach to existing receptors that are there for other purposes, um, and really, Sometimes that protein is uh, very good at doing that. The, the shape of the protein, it's a lock and key, and it fits in really well, and the virus gets into the cell very easily. And then it can cause an infection much more successfully. Now what we have is two years of serial transmission in millions and millions of human beings. So the virus has had two years to really become much better adapted to entering human cells. And really what the Omicron variant has is a change in its genetic sequence that has changed the shape and changed the ability of that spike protein to attach to human cells and enter the human cell. And that's probably what's giving it its transmission advantage. But as I say, we don't know fully yet because we don't know, to answer the question, <clears throat> does the virus survive longer in droplets or aerosols? Does the virus survive longer on surfaces? And a lot of that work is being done. But the, the suspicion is clearly that the, the spike protein itself uh, is just better able to, uh, to enter uh, the human cell and do uh, and infect uh, those cells.